Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Left Alone. Kind of just found us on Steam. It was eight bucks, I guess. Uh, seven ish, something over that ballpark. I wanted to see what it's about. It's apparently a psychological, atmospheric horror game. Let's see what it's about. Are you sure? Yeah, I haven't played the game yet. Mm, you play Joel Dent, former U.S. State Marine Corps Special Forces, so that mean that justifies his supernatural ability to lift and run for long time. Okay. Father of two and recent divorce, divorcee, he served for 12 years as one of the highest ranked officers and worked his way to captain before being discharged after suffering massive head trauma on duty. So is this going to be one of these? Is it in our head? Or Joel was highly regarded as one of the best uh, company grade officers and received the highest commander medal honor, blah, blah, blah. So 12 years you join usually after high school. At the earliest, he's in his early 30s, let's say. He spent 18 months in medical-induced coma. Doctors said the odds are extremely low that he will ever wake again. Despite this, his two former squad mates, Mike and Philly, uh, visited him by way. Philly is from Texas. So, this ironic name like that. Almost every day, and watched him back to physical health over a year. Joel still suffers the occasional disorientation and blackouts when he's as regular checkups for. Joel was left having to build a new life for himself in a new city, in a job he doesn't like, and without the comfort of his children and wife who left him for a new man in New York. The bastard. When he was in his coma. Joel hasn't seen his best friends for six months as they were deployed. They arranged to meet up for a weekend away on the basics of fish on a basic physics trip. Mm. About the old days, excuse me, heart attack. They arranged to meet off a hiking trail in the forest of Wisconsin, which is good traveling distance for all three men. Whew. Okay. Was in a move. Uh, what's QE? Q, replace battery. Oh, lovely. B, check number of batteries. Uh, F, flashlight on, off. Okay, so Q, E. E, interact, pick, shift, to sprint, space. Okay, pretty basic. Okay, I think I got this. When a family lays broken, a bond between friends gets strong. Why is that in blood? Because the Marines, in the face of adversity, use their lights uh, isolated from your comforts. Every man has his breaking point believe only half of what you see and not of what you hear none of what you hear how scary it would be if the voice inside your head stopped working what they tell me to paint pretty pictures mostly of boobs but still hello oh hey it's the start screen is this where we start our adventure hey i can move wow that mouse sensitivity and spin Spin! Anyways, uh, uh, this is the way I'm supposed to go, right? Yeah. So shift, jump, Q to low battery, F for flashlight, plus E to view message. Oh, hey, Joel, can't wait to see you. Hey, man, yes, will be nice to get away from here. Need a break. We're gone fishing. We'll be back soon. Follow the trail to the camp. Maybe collect some sticks and rocks to build campfire. Ten of each should do. That's oddly specific. Normally, you just say, hey, man, pick up some sticks and rocks. You don't say, hey, pick up ten of each item before proceeding. Just saying, usually, otherwise, you make it sound like a quest line in a video game. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Birdies, hi. Dinner. Anyways, just random leaves floating in the wind. There's a rock. Anyways, let's move on. Yeah, so since he's a Special Force X Marine, X Special Forces Marine, he can run forever. That explains why he can just hold shift and run. Did I pick up sticks anywhere? Was I supposed to punch trees? Uh, nope, okay. So there's campfire. There's a, a camp, rather. A couple. Hi, birdies. What are you doing inside the tents? So, yeah, these, I have, my dad, and I think I do too, a couple of these stools somewhere. Oh, hey, did I do that? I must have. Uh, lighter fluid for matches, okay. Yes, yes, pick them up. Thank you. And then let's interact with them. Oh, do I actually have to pick up the sticks and stuff first? I thought I might have had them already. Uh, is that you? Yeah, that's you. 
And I imagine you are stones. Okay, so we actually do have to pick up uh, stuff. All right. Doot, doot. Would help if I keep count, I guess, but let's just pick up as many as we can and we'll deal with the consequences later. What's this? A beer can? Or, no, that's a thermos. Does this disturb you that this camp seems a little disheveled? Like maybe it was ransacked by bears? Maybe it's not a psychological thrill as much as you're running from bears. And not the fun NBA sports team. The bears. Anyways, that's enough wood. I didn't pick up enough sticks. Or I mean, uh, no, I still need some more stone. All right, let's go get some more stone. Which, by the way, he told me to pick them up. But, I mean, there's plenty around camp, the lazy bastard. He could have picked them up himself. Instead of sending the old uh, injured one. Oh, I could actually walk in the forest. Until I hit an invisible wall. Damn you, Invisible Wall National Park. It's really the most beautiful forest in the National Park system. But you just can't see any of it because of the invisible walls. Anyways. Uh, doot. And probably just a couple more. Sips. I wasn't that far ahead in sticks, so. Alright, alright. Let's just enjoy the music and the little relaxing atmosphere of a sunset. Or cool, damn invisible wall. Uh, relaxing afternoon in the, um, out in the woods. As the sun sets in the cool breeze. There's a stone right there. Takes over. What if I just spam E till I... Because apparently I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That's probably progressing in the story, so it doesn't want me to go that way. Which would be still when you're looking for firewood, you look away from the campsite. Because usually, well, usually you have a decent amount of firewood at the place. Anyway, is this enough? Am I stuck? I'm inside the tree. I've become one with nature. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Because all you want to do is the zoom, zoom, and her boom, boom. Just fuck her butt. I think those are the lyrics. Damn it, where's that last rock? Should I just pick up another stick? There we go, finally. Okay. All right, let's build fire. Add wood. Light fire. There we go. It's a bit early in the afternoon. Usually wait till the sun's a bit lower in the sky to start the fire. All right, so now what? Can I just sit down, relax? Oh, here we go. Uh, make sure to set up your tent and have a drink of water if you're feeling a bit thirsty. There's three... Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't set up my tent yet. Um, right here. That's in the middle of the path, though, which I guess you don't... Actually, this is a weird campsite. Normally, you don't build it on the path. You build it over here in the shade and away from the path a little bit, and especially a little bit on a hill. Because if it rains, it's going to pull here. Anyways, E. Anything else you want me to do? Can I sleep? And have a drink. So is that me sitting down here? Do I have an inventory? No, it didn't show me inventory as the option, so. Uh, water, you say. Is that the thermos? Yeah, here we go. Well, apparently that was STD. Not STD. LSD. <laughs> Man, have you ever drank STD? No, no, I haven't and I don't want to. Hi, Bigfoot. You are raped right by Bigfoot. The end. Why is there all this fur in my mouth? Puh, puh. Sorry, I'm trying to charge my phone at the same time. In case I get text messages from my friend. Hey, Joel, come across this. Uh, make sure to set up your tent. Help! Joel, we came across this abandoned school. Couldn't resist taking a look. The gate door was open. The door locked us, and the lights are out. Joel, help us out, man. What are you doing? I don't think we're alone here. You're fucking Marines. They train you how to kill ghosts in the Marine camp. I... <laughs> what good is our Marine Corps if they don't know how to deal with the supernatural? Hey, pick up torch. Flashlight! Damn it, it's a British game. E to search. Batteries acquired. Now, that's the one, one of the few things you could tell, usually, the difference between American and British developers is the use of the word torch versus flashlight. Nothing found. So, we've already searched all these guys. By the way, the red dot lets you know if you can search. So, if I hit F now, uh, I have three batteries. Mm. One heart attack. 
Okay, so now where am I supposed to be going? I'm assuming downstream now. Since it wouldn't let me go. Yeah, I just hit a saving point, so that means I'm going the right way. Downstream. Downstream. You feel her arms around your waist as you flow downstream to meet your fate. Downstream. What them? Oh, hey, there's lights there. All right, so old band school in the middle of a f camping ground. Makes perfect sense. What was that? I saw like a fox or a rat or something. Oh, right. Here, you. All right, so what's that question mark? Did I just disappear? How do I interact with you? Other than that's missing. Okay, so power plant code is 97 blank. I see. It's a mystery, Dr. Jones. Uh, so I don't know where I am, who I am, and do I have paper to take notes on? Yes, I do. Okay. So in case I see anything else, I can take notes off of. This isn't a road. It's not even a dirt road. Kilometers per second. Weren't we a U.S. Marine? No, oh, well. Maybe we like to camp in um, in um, the English part of um, Germany. No, it was actually supposed to be maybe Canada or something like that. Let's say Canada, where everything's still in English and they have kilometers per hour. Hi, Mr. Wolf. I don't see any eyes looking at me. That's always the one thing you do with flashlights in the dark that can freak you out. Is you pan around looking for eyes looking back at you. I've actually done that in photography. Where I was taking nighttime photos and I just flashed a flashlight around randomly to get a cool effect. When looking at the photos the next day, I saw lots of eyes looking at me that I didn't see when filming. So that was a bit disconcerting. Alright, what are you? Ah, this is what I'm supposed to come here for, right? Which I can open. Can I open you? Again, look for the red dot. Ah, like that. Batteries acquired. Yep, can't open this. No cell phone, no nothing. Uh, yep, yep, yep. High voltage. High voltage! Anyways. Uh, can I search any of these guys? I can. Nothing found. Nothing found. Can I jump? Why am I jumping on top of stuff in a high... This is Transformers. You don't jump on top of Transformers unless you're an idiot, which I am. Hi, anything out there? Nope. Cool. Do, 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 do. Can I do... Uh, dun, 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 dun. There you go. So what's over here then? Through the fog we carry on. Because this is back. Oh, yeah, the school bus. I didn't search it, did I? Because they did say they were at an abandoned school. Apparently, it was an ancient Greek school in Canada. Well, I can't move the stop signs up. Which is actually laws in the U.S. where even if you're coming the opposite direction... As long as that sign's up, you can't do anything. Uh, no. Is that an invisible wall? Yes, it is. Alright, uh. So, let's see. Let's at least look at the map and attempt to figure out where the hell I am. Okay, so. What the hell's going on over there? Like that brick over there, right there. Watch that as I look over here. Huh, interesting. Anyways, let's let that glitch out. So this right here, I think, is the power station. There's blue there. And if that's that... Did I come across water to get here? No, I didn't. Huh. Oh, well, let's go this way now. Or is this a roadblock? See, this makes more sense than just invisible walls. Can I read what that says? It says game developer will replace with uh, or temporary or 
was it? Whip will replace. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go back to the only building we found so far. And let me grab my uh, redhead slut. Mm. Ah, slightly warm. I like my sluts cold and dead. No, it's a drink, by the way, if you don't know. 